assholes. I mean, oh shit. I'm gonna get demonetized for that. Oh well. Namco. Namco. Let's let's skip the introduction. We've seen it a billion times. I've recorded it before. Welcome back to the stage of history. All right. Let's do. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, this is completely unplanned here. We did Astroth before. I think we did Taki before too. We did do Nightmare. We did do Ma Did we do Maxi? I think we did. I hope we did. And if we did, I hope I uploaded it. Now I'm... Let's do, let's do this one. Miss, Mr. Rugi? Yeah, it's Mr. Rugi. Mitsurugi. Versus King. Battle 1. Fight. Alright. Fucking... Oh, shit. Well, I bounced back just fine. Fuck yeah. This victory strengthens the soul of Mitsuri. You win! Morata! Battle 2, fight! This is pretty epic, not gonna lie. I like... I like just how just fucking badass he looks. I just wanted to see, like, what would happen if I just sat there for a few seconds. Yeah, this one... Too easy. Whoa. He reminds me a little bit of Aurora Nora Zoro. Vo Trying to see if, like, the YouTube caption will, like, you know, recognize and spell it correctly when I say Rora Nora, Rora Noah Zora. There we go. Rora Noah Zora. From One Piece. Man, I should play like a One Piece game on here. I bet y'all would like that. There's no Sega games that are like One Piece licensed, but I mean. I don't have to obey that. That's not a rule here. You know, I can play whatever the fuck I want. If I want to play Skyrim on here, I will. Well, I mean, I don't have Skyrim. And I also don't... I actually don't like Skyrim. Long story short, you know, I tried playing Skyrim, like, a few years ago. Uh, what was it? Like, 2019 it was? Oh, shit! <laughs> That was a good play there. Anyway, so I, I tried playing, like, Skyrim. What was it like? Yeah, 2019 it was. And I just, I just couldn't get into it. Like, I, I played it for, like, three hours, and, like, I ended up get, giving it back to the game store. <laughs> what I did in the game was I, like, did the tutorial, and then, like, when I got out of the tunnel... I like ran in a random direction because I wanted to see what I could do. And I got pretty far, but I don't know which direction I went into. I ran into like a random town. It was like some kind of altar, some fountains and stuff. That's all I remember. Somebody was telling me to get something. I don't fucking know. I don't know if what I was going was supposed to be like the main part of the quest or something. But, uh, yeah. Whoa. Damn, homie. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Man, that felt like the introduction of a of a Fergie song. Whoa, that is an interesting look for Yoshimitsu there. 
I mean, I like it. I think he looks cool. I, I, I like the purple, but I think the face is a little bit uncanny valley for me. Whoa, okay, that's, that's a badass move. No joke. Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah, that was such a base fucking play. That was a good fight, overall. I mean, after all, Yoshimitsu is my other favorite. I, it used to be my main for a long time. Oh shit, yo. Oh man, this is a good fight. This one is... This one getting tense. Oh! I like that low kick move that he does, like the one where he slides. Actually, all of his kick moves are really, really good. It just, it takes the player, or the opponent, rather, off guard. He's so cool. I like him. He's really cool. Ooh, this one's gonna be fun. Let's do it, homies. Let's throw down. Oh, shit. If she's not playing around. Oh, I think she's gonna win, dude. I, I, I think she's gonna kick my ass. Oh, whoa! Oh, can I, can I bounce back? Oh, shit. I think I can bounce back. Honestly? Props to her. I give her mad respect for that fucking fight. Mad respect. Honestly, like... When a fight is, like, that good... Oh my god. Yeah, when, when, a, when a fight is that good where it's, like, you have no idea if you're gonna bounce back or not, I love that. I live for that. I play for that reason. See, like, he's kicking my butt. Holy shit, dude. I won't give up hope. Man, I... F and chat for Sophia, honestly. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Yeah, F and chat for Sophia. Mad respect. I know it's a computer character, and it's not like a real player fighting against me, but I mean, come on, y'all. We're having fun. Oh, ooh, Cervantes. I don't think we fought Cervantes yet on this channel. I might be mistaken, but I don't remember if we have. Cervantes is kind of a fucking hard one, like... Oh, man. I do want to play as Cervantes once I unlock that character, but damn, dude, he, he's brutal. Oh, shit, y'all. Yeah. Taste my pain. Holy shit, y'all. That's some sadomasochistic bullshit right there. Oh, yeah. Right on. We bounce back, y'all. Go be in hell before me. I do think that it's cool and badass, like, all the characters in this game are just like, you'll be in hell, know my name, you know, you're less than me. Uh, but it, it's also like, where are all the characters that are, like, good sports, you know what I mean? Like, everybody says, like, you know, hey, this was a good battle, that was a good fight, GG, you know what I mean? You know, those who are willing to reach out their hand and shake you know, your opponent's hand, even in spite of victory. Honestly, like...
the snowy arena. I've never played this one. But it's just like, you know, like... All the characters... Oh my god. He's flipping off art. Oh man. I don't know, it's just... I can't play against, like, opponents that are, like, you know, mean-spirited. Like, I mean, obviously in, in the game here, I'm, I'm doing a single-player run. And obviously they're, you know, built in to play that way. But, like, if I'm playing multiplayer, if I'm playing against somebody, whether it be online or local couch co-op or whatever, and that person is just, like, being so mean-spirited and, like, being rude... Like, I can't do that, you know? Like, that's so mean. You know, I can't, like, you know, just sit there and accept, like, that kind of, like, abusive, toxic, cruel, spiteful, you know, like, I don't know, dude. Like, here's the thing, right? I can understand, like, the, ten uh, the tension being, you know, up if it's, like, a tournament. Oh, shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know. I just think that like, you know, people who get mad at like a video game, maybe should we consider why they're playing a video game, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you know, like, it's one of those things where it's like, Oh, whoa. <laughs> you watch that again. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like, I've gotten pissed at video games before. Oh my god, whoa. Holy, holy shit. You are whooping my butt. Relentless, I swear. <laughs> Final battle fight. Oh, my God, can I make it? Yep, yeah. I did. I sure did, folks. That was pretty awesome. You win. That was a good play. Alright. Let's go on ahead and uh, face the, the fireman. Guy Montag from Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Okay, I'm joking. But, uh, fun fact, I actually did meet Ray Bradbury uh, shortly before he passed away, unfortunately. Um... It was an interesting experience. It was in Sierra Madre, California, and he was at some, like, high school there. And I went there because, well, we were reading for Fahrenheit 451. Oh my god. Whoa. And, like, like in class. And, um, my grandfather knew this, so he heard about Ray Bradbury being in class, or not in class, but at the local school, and, you know, like, he, like, took me there, and I got to meet him, and then I told my class after the fact, and they didn't believe me at first, but, you know, afterwards, it, it was just like, you know, they, they found out because they looked it up, and, you know, on the internet, and they got so mad at me for not mentioning it, for not being like, hey, y'all should go meet Ray Bradbury. <laughs> oh no, he, hold on. Oh, fuck, ah. Damn, homie. Yeah, we're not out for the count yet, we're almost done. We're like so close, we can't give up yet. Even though he's like whipping my ass with every single strike. Oh shit, uh oh, hold on. 
Oh, fuck. I was trying to get, like, lower with him. I should probably use him on a lower attack. That might actually help. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, oh. Come on. Right on. We got to beat him one last time. You fool, don't make me laugh. I think that's a good one-liner. I love all their one-liners, it's really cool. So close, so close. Oh my god. Oh, no. Yep. We win. We win, y'all. We win. Bye, bitch. <laughs> what a cool, like, play that was. After countless battles, the demonic blade Soul Edge was in Mitsurugi's hands. En route back to his homeland, pirates attacked him on the high seas. Mitsurugi was completely surrounded by the bloodthirsty pirates. He smiled without fear as he looked down the barrels of their gun and murmured. I've had enough of duel. You're just what I need to try the new blade. Oh, sorry. This was the last of anyone heard of the lone samurai, the mercenary of the wartime age. I was pretty close to being able to finish reading that, but uh, oh well. It is what it is, y'all. I love that. The legend will never die. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Rock is so cool. Although he's like really slow. Like super, super slow. But he's really cool. So. Can't go wrong there. Got Rock, Sig, Liz. What? And... <laughs> All right, let's see where I rank on this uh, with uh, Mitsurugi. Probably not very high. I mean, I'll, at least I don't think so. Yup, I didn't think so. Are we still at, like, Taki as number one? Yeah, I'm surprised that, like, Astroloth as so as he is, got, like, number two. I gotta beat Taki, like, when it, you know, when it comes to, like, how fast I play. I gotta beat that record. Anyway, y'all, thanks for joining us today. I'm Skylar. Uh, subscribe. And I hope you're liking this channel and all that I'm doing on here. Uh, you know, more content and more videos coming up soon and all that. Take care, y'all. Love y'all.